So we're here at the SIB Display Week, and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Helga Zietzen, I'm the president of the society. So, um, what do you do as a president? And what's, your, what, what's your background? What do you do? Uh, my, my background is I'm a technologist in the display industry that turned entrepreneur, built a number of display companies, and uh, these days I'm a venture capitalist. I write checks, I help uh, young companies grow in the display space as well as uh, computer vision space. Uh, so it's, a, it's always a big challenge for cool display technologies to uh, be made and mass produced. And it's all, uh, it always has to do with like, cash, right? Uh, or the investments. Yep. And this is why LCD got huge because I guess the story is some, some people in Asia thought it was a good idea. They invested a lot of money and then it became number one, right? Yeah, I mean, so there's always the combination of a market need and capital to bring it to market. And so the, the market need really in the 90s was uh, uh, flat panel displays, laptops. Right? Laptops and then mobile phones and so forth. And so LTD technology is actually celebrating its 50th anniversary uh, this year. We're having a celebration year. So the technology was around for quite a few decades, but really in the uh, early 90s there was uh, sort of forces coming together to really bring it into the market. And that triggered uh, billions and billions of capital investment. And that has given us uh, the uh, LTD manufacturing capability that we have today. But 50 years is a long time. Technology, uh, technology moves very rapidly in small increments, but uh, it takes a long time strategically to come to market. I myself, uh, it's a bit of an anniversary for me, so my, uh, uh, the first company I built was around a technology uh, that is today called HDR, High Dynamic Range, which uh, you might very well be filming in. Um, and uh, we, uh, we showed, uh, 15 years ago in 2003, we showed the first uh, local dimming LED HDR display uh, here at Display Week. Uh, and 15 years later, it's now an established standard. You can watch uh, you know, Netflix movies in high dynamic range in HDR. Uh, it's, it's part of cameras, it's part of televisions and so forth. So that's, you know, 15 years is better than 50 years, but it still takes a long time to go into the mass market. You're speeding things up a little bit, right? The world is moving faster. Yep. Because it's much better to see things happen faster. We don't want to wait around for 50 years, right? Yeah, so obviously the world is moving faster. We're seeing uh, uh, increasing progress. And that's why an event like Display Week is so exciting because you come every year and there's just new things in every corner. What was this HDR you had 15 years ago? What was the company? Uh, the company was called Brightside. It was a startup that we built uh, to commercialize um, really this, this HDR concept which you can find today. A concept or what? At the time it was an invention that we had made at the you University made the of British Columbia. Yep. Well myself and a team of two others uh, at the University of British Columbia. And we then built a startup around it. We um, uh, built prototypes, we licensed the technology to a number of the big display companies and then ultimately sold the company to um, Dolby Laboratories, which uh, now develops or has commercialized uh, something called Dolby Vision, which is their HDR standard. Which is kind used. of maybe the best HDR out there, maybe? Yep. And then, uh, so it's it's about recording, it's about displaying? Correct. So we had a, a full pipeline of technologies, from uh, camera technologies that captures HDR content, to um, uh, video storage and transmission, so a, a, a standard which is the Dolby Vision uh, transfer standard these days, uh, to a display technology that the display industry these days called LED TV, or local dimming TV. Um, which is uh, still the most common display technology in the world. If you walk into a store, uh, that's the kind of display you're most likely going to find. The most likely HDR you see out there. So yep. local dimming, how many, lo how many local localities are there? How much dimming can you do in one so, of these So that, that varies uh, tremendously from manufacturers. In 2013, the first display, the first local dimming display in the world that we showed uh, had uh, 2,000 individual elements. 2003, uh, you say? 2,000. Uh, yeah, we showed it in 2003. Yeah. We showed it here. Display that had 2,000. That 2,000 elements, which was um, a phenomenal display, but it was financially utterly not doable. And so when we started licensing technology to manufacturers, they started with uh, 64 elements, then 128, and then 250, and and so it, it sort of gradually grew as the economics became more affordable. Uh, so the world's first commercial local dimming display came out in 2007. Um, uh, and uh, since then they have improved in quality and today both LED TVs and OLED TVs have HDR capability and that's what you can now find pretty much as a standard feature um, everywhere. It's actually hard these days not to find an HDR capable display. And the way to do it is local dimming? Correct. For, for LCDs, local dimming is the way to do it. For there's, OLED... There's no other things you need? In there? No, no. For Just local dimming? You need, you need a signal that has high dynamic range content 
but the actual, which is the Dolby Vision or HDR10 standards. Um, and then for uh, the display side, you basically need uh, local dimming if it's an LCD, or if it's an OLED, it's natively HDR, but that's a different story. So it's not like a whole brightness of the backlight is not all the same? No, it's they're individually like clustered. Yeah. In that, uh, many different uh, intensities? Correct, that's how you get the high contrast. So if you want like to show... thousands of intensities or something? Correct, yeah, so the, the LEDs are analog, so they have usually quite a wide range of, uh, of intensity levels that oh, you control yeah. over. All right, cool, so this event is gonna be interesting. Now there's gonna be some speeches in my words. Uh, my speech, actually. Your so, speech so I have to, I have to open the event. All right.